Why, hello everyone and welcome back. It's side quest yet again. Wow, it feels good to be doing this again. It occurs to me that I've been playing this game very soulsy <laughs> and not very Sekiro-y. I've not been playing stealthily for the most part, and I uh, think it's going to probably be important that I adapt my gameplay style to this game's actual... Uh, uh, you know what I mean. Never checked back here. Let's see... Nothing? Nothing. Well, that was fun. Another thing that's occurred to me is... Dang it, I keep hitting the wrong button. Is that, uh... We haven't really had a boss fight yet. Other than, I guess, the squash match we had kind of at the very beginning with the, uh... Guy right after the tutorial. When we lost the arm and whatnot. Oh, nice. But yeah, other than that, no bosses, and it feels like that kind of means we must be due to find one soon. Unless, I mean, it could be that Sekiro is just a much less boss-filled kind of experience, which is also fine. Let's see here. Can I just go up this way and skip past all those dudes? Like, I kind of want to fight him to practice, but uh, I also would love to know how many of these encounters are, like, skippable. Like, can you do a total stealth run of this game? Seems like that would be difficult so far, but maybe? Probably. Nope. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, quit. Don't call in reinforcements. I don't want you to do that. I much prefer it when you don't. Yikes. Alright, fine. You come here. Ow. Get out of town. Yo, leave me alone. I'm gonna climb elsewhere. Take my business to this side of the castle. What do you say to that? Oh. There's somebody down there. Eh, shoot. Keep getting spotted. Because of my bad stealth, you see. I'm gonna take care of this. Get out of here. There we are. Now I can probably bail. There we are. Oh, I love how mobile this character is. It's very cool. Alright, we still got some folks on the alert, but I'm... Uh, okay, it is just an enemy. I thought it was a... Like an NPC or something. Well, that takes care of that. Oh, there's dogs. Okay. Yikes. Yikes. Let's get out of this mess. Oof, I got dicey. Oh, I said incorrectly last time that, uh, having that little meter down there probably meant I was on fire. It doesn't. It probably actually means what it means in Dark Souls, which is that, like, I am gaining the fire status, and I don't officially have that status until that bar fills. That's my guess. But okay, now that we, uh, had our little messy encounter there, let's see if we can do something right. And stealthy. Thank you. See, there's at least one guy over that way. Yeah, I am very excited to see some folks do a stealth run of this. 
later on. Probably won't even take that long for people to attain that level of mastery. Okay, there's a couple there. A few there, in fact. I wonder. There is that, like, uh, oil item. I wonder if I could throw it and wreak some havoc there. You know? That didn't do anything. How about this? Still didn't do anything. Okay, well, there's dogs. Yikes. What a mess. Hey, oh, there we go. Ah, can't get up. Get on the wall. Whew. What a mess. Can I drink from here? That'd be really cool. <laughs> no. Watch it. Stop throwing oil at me. Fine, we'll fight. Stop it. Bad dog. Boy, this is just a case study in what not to do. <laughs> just over and over and over. That's okay, though. I'm learning. It's a process. Sneak up on this one here. Beautiful. So what do you do with the fire? I see, like, an interact point on the fire. Oh, there's an item, I see. Having trouble there? Ah, uh, he'll be alright. Let's get some items. Dousing powder, a medicine for treating burns. Good. Good to have more of that. A lot of fire out here. Items? No? Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Thought I'd try. More items. Nice. Flame barrel. An iron barrel that spews fire. Can be fitted to the shinobi prosthetic to become a prosthetic tool. It is difficult to control the rage-filled red eyes with the power of man alone. However, a fire-based weapon could be a means of resisting them. They are said to fear fire above all else. Rage-filled red eyes. Oh dear. Are we going to have, basically, red-eye knights in this? I mean, it would make sense that there'd be some equivalent. I just didn't expect them to actually have red eyes. Can I get in there? I thought I saw a shiny. Might just be my eyes playing tricks on me, but... Yeah, it probably is. Yeah. Let's see, I could go that way. There's also this whole region this away. Another opportunity to try to be stealthy for once. I feel like this one's going to be very fun to repeat play. With this stealth emphasis. Let's see, we got a bunch over there. Got an item. Akko's Sugar. A sugar candy made in Senpo Temple, sustaining Akko's blessing. Boosts attack power for a time. Bite the candy and take the Akko stance to impart its inhuman benediction. The spirits embody excess karma. One must bite down hard on the candy and endure what has been brought to pass. I like that these items are candies. There's... I don't know. It's neat. This is so good so far. I am way into it. But I guess I do have to accept that sometimes stealth killing won't be an option. Like, stealthing past all these folks? Sure. Stealth killing? Probably no. Eh, maybe I can get a... pouncing attack down on one of these fools, though. Let's see. Or I could just sneak up. Eh, I'll probably get spotted, but... 
We can try. See ya. Oh, that's a fellow with a bow. Oh, no, sir. There we go. Okay. You there with the axe. Watch it. All right. Getting a little better here. Tiny bit by tiny bit. All right, so this is a place that's being raided actively, or was already, and is just still on fire, seems like. I wonder why I was sent back to this memory that apparently isn't mine, or isn't mine that I know of. Okay. Let's see. Oh, the vertical mobility here is so fun. I really like it. I think there was just one guy up here, right? Hopefully. Nope. There's another one. Probably two. Nope, just one. What are you doing all by yourself, fella? That doesn't seem prudent. Fistful of ash, and a door that I bet won't open. Yep. I guess we're going around. I've done pretty good out here. i gotten, like, a good amount of money as well. As soon as I get to a, uh... Shrine. That's not the word, is it? A something. A bonfire, basically. Then I could go back to that other shopkeep who was selling another tool to add to the prosthetic. Hey. Hey, die. There we go. Who else detected me over here? I saw... Oh. I don't know how they noticed me. Maybe it's just a dog. Hello. Shinobi axe, you say. Well, if you insist. What do we got here? I don't see anybody. And this side. Ah, there's a fellow. Uh, we'll have to interrupt that business. Uh, here's another area. Wow, this place is sprawling. Gokan's Sugar, a sugar candy made by shinobi hunters of Misen Temple, sustaining Gokan's blessing, reduces posture damage taken for a time. Bite the candy and take the Gokan stance to impart its inhuman benediction. Misen monks are well versed in the art of killing shinobi, an undertaking that demands a body with an unshakable core. There we go. Let's open up a route back. Very nice. Now. Here we go. Anyone down here to worry about? Anyway, <laughs> Boys, you never take from Buddha. Everyone knows that. Ow. Yeah, he's armored, huh? Seems like. 
Let's top off. Oof. A little tougher there. Buddha? You alright? Oh, just an item. Which I probably shouldn't take. Shinobi Axe of the Monkey. A heavy black iron axe used by Shinobi. Can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. Wow, I'm getting a lot of those. This boorish axe is used less for cutting and more for breaking things with its weight. Once the favored weapon of a Shinobi known as the Bounding Monkey of the Sunken Valley. It was lost along with his left arm. Huh. Neat. Mine now. You okay over there? Hey. You alright? Huh. Really into that corner for some reason. Nice. Okay, let's see. That's this side taken care of. What about this one? Ah, chicken. I do not mess around with those chickens. Oh, geez. So many chickens. Ah, we are going to die. Yikes. Yeesh. Eat a pellet quick. Well. Chickens. You brought this on yourselves. Get out of here. Food. Ugh. Embarrassing. Ah! More of them. Jeez, I'm gonna die. Let's get out of this very bad arena. Wow. I deserve that. Well. Lost a good chunk of money there, but I've also been earning a lot. Uh, can I do anything here yet? Seems like no. I wonder if I'll eventually be able to buy more than just spirit emblems here. That would be nice. Anyway, let's go uh, equip some more stuff. You know, I would apologize for some of my, uh, amateur level play here, but honestly, if any of you have been watching side quest up to this point, or really any of the series on this channel, you knew what you were getting into. Huh. Shinobi Esoteric Text, a book of secrets that details a variety of techniques employed by Shinobi, grants the ability to learn Shinobi-style skills. Within this text are the innermost secrets of the Shinobi arts, such as attacks performed in the air and hiding one's body to avoid detection. Such moves could never be practiced by samurai. I really should learn the distinction between, like, ninja, samurai, and Shinobi, because Shinobi does seem to be something different. Shinobi no wazaji. Samurai niwa mane dekinu. Shinobi no tatakau sube ga kaite aru. Hmm. Ma, dou suru ka wa omae san shidai yo. Tatakau sube nado shinobi dake demo aru maite. Owning an esoteric text of a combat style will allow its skills to be acquired in the Sculptor's Idol skill menu. Each enemy defeated provides skill experience. Skill points are acquired once enough experience is gained, which can be spent to unlock skills. Some skills can also be learned by obtaining items or defeating enemies. Okay. I am. Hotoke 
起こしてくださっているだけじゃお前さんがどう思いどう覚えていたか全てはそれ次第じゃ見るもの全てが正しく起こったことかは分からぬそういうことじゃ We sure seems to die real enough So hey I found some new stuff Got the loaded axe and the flame vent the strength of the loaded axe lies in its heft. One strike can easily turn a wooden shield into splinters or shred an enemy's posture. Good to know. And Flame Vent deals fire damage to enemies via a short-range blast of fire while also inflicting burn status. Difficult to control the rage of those with red eyes through the... Okay, yeah, we read that part. Anyway, let's equip the two of these, shall we? Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Prosthetic Esoteric Text. A book of secrets that details a variety of techniques for use with the Shinobi prosthetic. Grants the ability to learn prosthetic style skills. Written by a man who abandoned the path of the Shinobi but could not bring himself to discard his painstaking research. He never expected to pass these on to anyone else. それが書いてある。要は忍び騎士を使った戦いの術じゃな。わかった。全く。義手の忍び技などもはや無用と思っておったが、わからんものよな。I am intrigued. ではな。また。well, he does seem nice. So we've got some texts and stuff now. And we can cycle through our tools this way, right? Oh, I haven't equipped them yet. Hang on. So, right, flame vent and loaded axe. And now we can cycle. Okay, hang on. I need to see these animations here. So, that's the shuriken. The fire thing and the axe. Awesome. That is very cool. Okay. Uh, let's see. The acquire skills menu has been unlocked in the sculptor's idle menu. New skills can be learned by spending skill points in this menu. Great. Okay. Acquire skills. Whoa. All right. New skills can be acquired by spending skill points in the skill menu. New combat styles can be learned through obtaining esoteric text for each style. There are three types of skills. Combat arts, shinobi martial arts, and latent skills. Combat arts must be equipped to be used, but shinobi martial arts and latent skills are always in effect upon being acquired. Neat. Okay, so some passive abilities. Dang, alright, there's a lot. There's a lot to this. Acquires combat art whirlwind slash. A spinning attack that can hit several enemies at once. The sharp cut combined with the force of the spin can strike multiple foes and deal damage even when guarded. I have three points right now, so I could... This one costs one. One of the other one seems to cost two. And then Mikiri counter. Okay. Enables one to counter enemy thrust attacks by stomping down on an enemy's weapon, dealing a large amount of damage to posture. Nearly impossible to perceive the speed of a thrust, but not for the sharp eyes of a shinobi. B at the moment of an enemy thrust attack. Wow. Seems really cool. Uh... A shinobi martial art, Chasing Slice. A shinobi martial art that allows one to perform a forward dashing sword slice after using certain prosthetic tools, allowing one to close distance on enemies instantly. That's probably more useful than it immediately sounds, but, uh, kind of want to skip it for now. And the grappling hook attack. Uh, use the grappling hook to launch oneself at an enemy and use that momentum to perform a rolling sword attack. That sounds great. The shinobi prosthetic's the perfect tool for combining movement and attack into one, ensuring no movement is wasted. Oof, there's some tough choices here. I'm going to take the Mikiri counter and the grappling hook attack. That sounds really fun. Nightjar slash Emma's medicine potency. Ooh, an upgrade to the potency. Neat. Run and slide. Suppress presence. Oh, man. I am so into this game already. This is awesome. Okay, let's travel. Back to the Hirata estate. 
We got work to do. Okay. Very curious how to use this uh, grapple attack thing. Can I just... No, nope, doesn't seem to work. Just uh, aiming at the guy. Hey, quit it. Don't want to be on fire. There we go. Not elegant, but it works. Now let's try going to this side again. And take care of as many chickens as we are able. There's a one. And a two. Now where's the rest? Three. Ah, oh, jeez. It's five total, huh? Thought there was only four total. But fine! Take this! Punk! Ha ha ha! Okay, that's good. Get out of town! Alright. We'll try the axe next. Actually, we should save that for someone who shielded up. Let's keep on practicing with the shuriken. One goes sugar. I would end the episode, but it feels like we've not actually gotten anywhere. So let's, uh, try to at least progress a little further before we call it, huh? So, okay. Let's get up top here. No, oh, I wanted to get up top. This other side. There we go. No, I can't. Ooh, fooey. Ooh. Oh, I already eavesdropped on the guy. No need to do that again. Well, let's take some fools out, I guess. Alright, he's shielded. With his armor, anyway. And I guess not anymore. Hey, y'all all right in there? Hello? Everyone okay? Shinobi Hunter, huh? That sounds bad for me. あなたは若様の。あ、よかった。忍び殿。俗殿の目的は若様です。早津らはすでに竹林坂上にいたり、お屋敷に火をかけています。若様の脱出も叶わなかったご様子お願いです。忍び殿。若様をお救いください。Antidote powder. Lovely. A powerful antidote concocted by the Sunken Valley Clan. Heals status abnormality poison and temporarily increases poison resistance. Magnetite deposits are found in the Sunken Valley, but the place is dangerously toxic. Antidote powder is essential for anyone attempting to mine the ore. Well, thank you very much, nice person. Y'all okay in here? Your friendly neighborhood shinobi is here to save the day. 
がし若さまの忍びじゃなほう肝心な時におらぬとんだ役立たずめいやもしやお主族を手引いたのではあるまいなさもなくはこの平田屋敷がこうもあっけなく落ちようものかそうよそうに違いないわいねえ裏切り者はいねえ Fine, be that way. Let's see, did I go to this side already? I don't think I did. Ooh, pretty in here, though. Alright, can't target him, so not an enemy. Good. Let's drop in and say hello. Hello. あんたも火事場泥棒ですかいノー旦那は見たとこ忍びですかね何か探し物でもまあ何にせよここは足が先に見つけた場所でさよそをあさってくださいああそういえばどっかの崖上に三十の塔が見えやしたぜ<笑> You know, I said I wasn't a looter, but I actually have been looting this place, so... Oh well. Hmm, can I get over here? Ooh! Bundled Jizo statue. A small Buddha effigy found in red cloth. Raise in prayer between one's palms to restore a note of resurrective power. To enswath a Jizo statue is to express feelings of paternal love. The bundle of cloth is to at least ensure that the little one goes on in peace. Now, is that permanent? I'm guessing no. But I'm curious. Okay, let's see here. That's a lot of them. Love to sneak up on them if I could, but they may not give me that option. And fair enough. Don't really know if there's anywhere to go over here. Seems like no. Alright, let's go fight them. I mean, let's just go fight them. What's the worst that's going to happen? Oh, fellas. Oh, there's some shields. That's what the axe is going to be for. Oof, I'm getting too aggressive. Okay. Kabam! Okay, that's awesome. Big fan. And you, sir. Oh, yeah. Loving this here tool. All about it. Let's see. Huh. Wonder what's down there. Let's see. I can jump up there. I get the sense that they're hiding some items from me, and I will not have it. No. No, I say. Alright, lots of dudes. There's the pagoda. Burning castle, which is just... being very patient with me. Whoa, now. <laughs> Didn't know if that was a safe spot to jump. Glad it turned out to be. Whoa now. Huh. Oh, crumbs. I'm okay! Yeesh. Oh, I wonder if I can go up this way. 
Come on. Ah. There we go. Interesting, okay. It's a completely different route I can go. I am getting very lost. How's it going? いや、ちゅうは今頃、火の海を。ああ。抜け出してくるとしたら、この隠し掘らわなに違えねえ。銃蔵様の言いつけだ。ネズミ一匹、逃がすんじゃないぞ。分かってるさ。俺はもともとで